Hello YouTube! So, today I have a... I have no idea what I'm calling this. I literally don't. Obviously by now you'll know what I'm calling this, but it's somewhere along the lines of like summer glam, fun, pop of color, but no lashes and very simple fun stuff. I really have no idea what I'm calling this, but no false lashes. It's seriously super easy to achieve. It's um, it's very like glammy and kind of like a done up look, but it's very easy and very achievable. And it's a very like summertime appropriate makeup look. In today's video, I do pull out my Coastal Sense shadows again. I don't know if I've sort of introduced this palette to you, so I'm going to. Um, the top looks very dirty and scratched up. But basically what you do is you buy like the physical palette, like it's empty, like all of these spots aren't filled. And then you pick out 28 eyeshadows. You can get palettes that are smaller than this, you can get ones with mirrors, you can get one with like a black cover. This is the one I picked out. And then I buy 28 of the single eyeshadows. You pick any color you want and then you place them however you want. So I did create this myself, like you can't purchase this on their website, but you can purchase the individual shadows. They're $2 individually, but if you get them on sale or on Black Friday, they are 99 cents, which is when I got this, and then the actual palette was like five bucks. So I got this for a great, great steal. And um, I used just some of the like purples and stuff like in this general region. And then I used just like a um, NYX eyeliner in the waterline for Pop of Color. Who even knows if you can see it because it's not as bright as I thought it was gonna be. But Yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it kind of fun to watch and it's interesting to you. I don't know if anybody would even wear this, but I really like it. I think it's wearable. I'm going to wear it because that's just me. But please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'm running out of ideas to do because I don't really get any like um, sort of feedback or like requests. So feel free to comment what you want to see below. Like, I don't, I don't care who you are, comment what you want to see below, and I will get some more ideas of what to record next. So, give it a thumbs up, comment, and make sure to subscribe to my channel, and then we can get started in this video. Enough rambling, I feel like I've rambled a lot, so let's just go. Peace out. <laughs> Why do I do that? Okay, so to begin, I'm going to be using two primers. The first one I'm going to be using is the Marc Jacobs, um, what's it called? Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. And I'm basically going to be using this on top of my moisturizer just as another moisturizer. It's like a between a moisturizer and a primer. This is just to um, smooth out my skin a little bit more and give it a little bit of extra hydration. And then for my actual primer primer, I'm going to be using the Nivea Men's Post Shade Balm. This is what's gonna actually um, grab onto my makeup and keep it on all day. What you're supposed to do with this primer or post shave balm is rub it into your skin until it gets kind of sticky and then that is when you want to put your foundation on top of it because it's just going to grab right onto your foundation. Today for foundation I'm going to go ahead and use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Foundation. This is in the color 210 Medium Beige. And to buff that out I'm just going to be using the um, Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. For today's concealer, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Um, this is in the color Light Warm, and then I'm just going to put that on with my Real Techniques Very Damp Complexion Sponge.
Okay, so now before I start putting powder on my face, I'm actually going to cream contour. I'm not going to cream highlight because obviously I already did cream highlight, I guess, with my concealer. But I have this BH Cosmetics um, concealer palette. I bought this for a wedding makeup job and then I didn't end up using it and it was for like um, darker skin tones so I'm going to be using it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one up here just on like a foundation brush and I'm going to start contouring with it. So now I'm actually going to go in with the darker one and then just deepen up my cheeks just a little bit just because we all know how much I like to contour. Alright, now that I am done putting the cream products on my face, I'm going to go ahead and bake the places I put my concealer. I'm going to be using the Airspun um, Translucent Extra Coverage Face Powder. I don't really get how it can be translucent by extra coverage, but it works, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just going to be taking my damp sponge, not too damp, but damp, I guess. And I'm just going to be baking right underneath my eye. And then all the other places that I put the concealer. And then in my videos, I don't really like to let it sit on my face because I feel like it looks really weird. I don't know. I, I don't know. So then I'm just going to go ahead and sort of buff that in. All right. I'm going to go ahead and skip over to the eyebrows and then we will be back for the eyeballs in just a second. Alrighty, so I now have my one eye done. I have my eyebrows done and this eye is already primed and set with like a, a skin toned powder just so the primer is not tacky so the eyeshadows will blend seamlessly. Alright, so this is what I'm using. This is my Coastal Sense palette. Um, you buy the palette itself and then like you pick out, I think it's 28 eyeshadows in this. And then you just kind of pop them in there yourself. So I basically created this on my own on their website. And um, this is what I'm going to be using. Some of these like purplies and stuff. Um, this eyeshadow look does not require very many eyeshadows. Um, I'm going to take these two. This one is Redwood and this is Violetville. And I'm going to be mixing them and even mix. And then I'm going to be buffing them into the crease and kind of bringing them down a little bit and just building that up. It's not really a transition, it's like a crease and a transition. And I'll be taking that on the Morphe M505 fluffy crease brush and just go to town. I'll be going back in and picking up more product and just sort of building this to my liking. And now for the lid shade. That's basically all there is to this eyeshadow look. I'm going to be using um, I'm going to be using the color lavender. It's like a um, a really like electric metallic sort of purple. And I'm going to be using this on the Morphe M22 for um, I think it's like a concealer brush, but it's good for packing color on. Um, even though this color does go on better with your finger, so I might be doing that. And then just to sort of clean up, clean up the crease, I'll go back in with those two colors. I won't take a lot, just the crease colors, and then I'll just sort of go back and forth to sort of get rid of anything that was in there. Now I'll just go in and 
sweep away any um, fallout because I baked the fallout sweeps away very nicely. And then the last um, shade I'll be using in this is this very light pink color. It's called Tea Rose Pink. Um, it's kind of like, like it's like a beige, but then it's like a hot pink at the same time. And it's kind of like iridescent. Like, I don't know, it is so gorgeous. Like it's just, it's a really gorgeous color. So I'm just gonna take down that same fluffy brush and I'm going to highlight the brow bone with it and sort of intensely highlight. Now for the lower lash line. Um, I'm going to be taking this new product. Kind of disappointed me a little bit, but I did it on one eye, so I just have to do it on the other eye. I've never used this before, but this is the NYX Electro Liner. I think they're new. I don't know. This is in mint condition. Um, I kind of like scribbled it all over the back of my hand. Uh, but that's what it looks like. And I'm going to pop this in my waterline. I just couldn't get it to be like bright like it's just like a soft mint which I mean it's called mint condition but it's not like I don't know and then I'm just going to be taking the same color I put on my lid and just the same brush too and I'm just going to kind of drag that underneath the eye now just for eyeliner I'm going to tight line um, with the NYX Trejol Lee Gel Eyeliner. And then I'm going to put some eyeliner just on the top of my eyelid. Very, very small line, as close to the lash line as I can get it. And now for mascara. Today I'm going to be using the Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. This is the tester sample. Um, I've really been liking this. Not really sure if I'll buy it full size just because like I could live without it, you know, but I really like it. So I'll just do one coat of mascara and then I'll also pop that on my lower lash line. I had to wait for this eyes mascara to dry. Oh my god, it's thundering. Did you hear that? Woo! If you hear that, it's thunder. <laughs> Um, but I had to wait for this mascara to dry to go in with the second um, mascara. This is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara. You can get this at Walgreens. So I'm going to just coat this eyelash. And I probably won't show you doing this eye, so that's why I'm showing you doing this one. Okay, so that concludes the eyes. Now we're going to get back to the face. So before we move on to any more bronzer and stuff, I'm going to do a light dusting of that same airspun powder on just the Morphe M527 brush. And I'm just gonna kind of dust this on my cheeks just so my bronzer and everything um, goes on smoothly. We're gonna start with a little bit more highlighting contouring, but obviously, powder version. I'm going to take my favorite Wet n Wild contour kit. You've seen me use this a million times. I'm sure you're tired of it, but I love it. Um, this is actually not the Dulce de Leche one. This is the Caramel Toffee one, the darker one. Um, I'm going to be taking the Banana Highlighting Powder and just do a quick one-two dust under the eyes, um, down the center of the nose, center of the forehead, chin, and upper lip. Taking the same palette just on a different um, brush. The first brush I use is the normal one that I use. It's the Morphe N439, comparable to um, the Tinker Highlighting Brush by Sigma. And then this one is like a one from the Elite Collection. This is the Morphe E48, and I'm gonna be using this to contour. So I just grab a little bit of that powder and carve out them cheekbones. Because I already contoured, I don't need a lot, but I just need to kind of fill in those blank um, patchy spaces. Not patchy, but like, I just need to kind of layer just to make sure it looks seamless. Using that same contour shade, I'm going to dip into it with just a little eyeshadow brush and deepen up the nose contour. Just a, a small, small amount. And then, I'm going to blend it out. Like so. 
Oh god, that looks so bad on camera. Oh my god, that looks so bad on camera. I swear it does not look like that in person. Oh my god, I look sick. Alright, and then just to warm up like the forehead and the cheeks a little bit more, I like to just layer bronzers and contours and whatnot. Um, I'm going to be using the NYX Sunny Bronzer. And then I'm going to be using this um, Morphe E3 brush. I just really like this brush for this. So I can just kind of like set it right there. And then it just kind of like does all of the work for me. And then this is what I'm going to be using for my like neck and jaw. And for blush, I'm not going to do a lot. Well, yeah. I'm going to do a lot. <laughs> I'm going to be using um, Sweet by Tarte. And I'll show you a swatch of it because in the pan you can't really tell what color it'll turn out. But it's like, let me compare it to the Milani Luminoso. Okay, right away obviously the Milani Luminoso is more peachy. But it's kind of that same like iridescent. You know what? I'm going to mix them. Oh yes. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my god, where has this been? Are we seeing that? I'm literally like glowing to the gods from my blush. Oh my. Okay, I think my life just changed. Um, this blush is too much to handle for you. You can go ahead and exit the video now. Hope you have a great day and um, stay tuned for more videos to come. Goodbye. Why does everything look like really intense on my face right now? Like really, really, like way too much. Like it looks fine in person. I recently got like the highlighter brush that like is supposed to be like the best fan brush for highlighting. The M310 from Morphe. And I feel like it distributes zero product. Like I feel like I have to dig to get product. So. Um, I'm gonna try it with a different highlighter, but like it has not been working with Becca Highlight. Champagne Pop, not working. So, we're gonna try it with this NYX one. Like, I feel like it flicks it in your hair, flicks it in front of you, and doesn't like, like place it. Okay, that doesn't look bad. So today for lips, I'm not gonna do anything crazy just so I can make this more like wearable. Um, I'm going to be using another sample I have from Tarte, which is the Tartiste Lip Paint. It doesn't say the color, it just says TBT ODD1 on it. And on the box that I got this all in, it doesn't say wow. Well, that's all I have. But this is what it looks like, I can show you, is the Swatch Rat Dar. finished look I know how my lips on and um, yeah this is the finished look I have no idea what I'm calling this obviously you'll know by now but um, thank you for watching make sure you subscribe on your way out stay tuned for more videos and I hope you like this look bye guys <laughs>